you're working with the operators, you might want to set up some video training and we have support that here by hitting the right mouse button on one of the tasks and selecting video training. What it will do, it will take the activities that are in that task and present them to you. You can see here, get the screws, secure and get casing, get screws, secure, get casing. And from here, you can actually play them back here. Just click on the start button here and it'll start playing through each of the uh, uh, activities in turn here. So you can see it gives you a little heading there of what it's going to show you. You're securing the four screws and then it will move on to the get casing. So you see as it finishes it stops, it switches and then it's going to show you the get casing here. And the guy goes up over here and picks up the casing. Okay, Various uh, options um, we can click on one of these and we can say uncheck the play all and it will just play that one particular item. If play all is selected it will move through each of them in turn. Okay we can click on the restart and do it again. Right. Or we can do a rewind which should take you all the way back to the beginning. Or we can move a frame at a time. These, this is a frame at a time where these are seconds at a time. So if I wanted to move it forward one frame at a time, I just click here. And you can see the video moving very, very slightly here as I'm doing that. So you can really get very, very detailed here. Right? And that's kind of small. These are seconds. So this is one second, two seconds, and so forth. So if I wanted to move three seconds at a time, it can jump through it three seconds at a time. Or it can go back the way three seconds at a time. This allows you to move around and see what you have here. Uh, the real nice option here is the fact that you can also publish. So if I wanted to play all here, it would obviously start uh, and put it back at the beginning. It will start playing all of the videos again here. Now if I want to publish it. Now the advantage here is, right now what it's doing is it's actually um, playing pieces of a long video. But if we publish it, it will create a unique video that we can actually play back and put on a CD or whatever, or distribute any way we wish. So I'm going to click on the publish here. And this takes a few seconds, so this could be my, uh, give it a name here, let's just call it Insert Screws, which is the name of the, the uh, it inherits the name of the task itself. And we click on the Save here. And you have to watch the little, um, used to be an hourglass, it's now this little circle. I think you can actually change that depending on your system here. And it's moving through each of the uh, videos in turn, and it's converting them from a, a larger video into a small video that only contains those particular pieces and here it's coming up and it's going to play it for me now so here it says training videos and it's called insert screws so this is automatically naming them here and get screws in position which is our first activity gives you an introduction and here you can actually see it and you hear the sound on it as well secure four screws that's the next step Notice we've also got the title embedded into the video right here as well for you. And notice also we created a video, the total length is 52 seconds right here. So it's taken all of the videos and put them into one for you to distribute as you wish. Okay, so this is an excellent way of creating uh, your own training material. Uh, from the Video Timer Pro and the Balancing Module here.